what's up everybody hope we're all having a good sunday welcome on into the community showcase for this week excited for this week it's a short oops i gotta switch the game capture there it goes uh it's a shorter one this week it's looking like but it's a high quality one so yeah no welcome in everyone and yeah we are gonna kick it off today with our mods let's see uh that's the most that we have of uh to show off today have a good amount of mods also have a zoo to show off from ZZ. Pretty cool, whole completed zoo, Little Oak Wildlife Park. And then yeah, I have a handful of um, blueprints that I went and found as well. So should be a good showcase. Again, a little bit shorter, but sweet, right? Short, but sweet. But how are we doing there, uh, Zoo Leopards? Good to see ya. Tumbly, welcome in. Zoov, what's up? What's up, Zoo? <laughs> Seabers holding down the fort today. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you as always. Uh, Moonlight and Planet Leafy, hope y'all are having a good one. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We've kind of been following around the uh, the Sloth Bear here from uh, Leaf, Gaboy, and Jen. But yeah, look at this. I think this is an updated one. I think we've seen this once before, but it's updated for uh, 1.9. It looks really good. So this is the female Sloth Bear. Um, and again, yeah, this is going to be from Leaf, uh, Gaboy, and Jen. Or I'm sorry, I've read that wrong. Leaf, Gaboy, and Giorno Pizza. There, I can read. <laughs> there it is. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool in there. Uh, this one is um, pregnant, but it's not going to give birth for another two years. So it's uh, it's going to be pregnant for a while. I don't think we're going to be able to see it give birth, unfortunately. But I'm trying to remember to do that. What's up, Claire? It's so fluffy. It's right. It is so clear, uh, fluffy. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to remember to turn on the... Uh, offspring and everything so we can see the uh, babies but again this one's gonna take a little bit too long to uh to do the baby thing there <laughs> uh cool but hey next up let's do the the dugo the doggo late submission from leaf today went ahead and threw it in because we had a shorter list today but this is the german shepherd domesticated dog and this is from leaf look at this Zebra, sorry about this one uh you'll have to get the uh link in the description down below because i just kind of uh in my notes, I just put German Shepherd Leaf. <laughs> the um, the link should be in the description down below. What's up, Domez? Good to see you, buddy. Where'd my music go? There it goes. <laughs> that was weird. That was kind of weird. Um, but anyways, yeah, here's the German Shepherd Doggo, and this is from Leaf. Look at this. Pretty awesome. There's a whole bunch of domesticated dogs now uh, up on the workshop, and then there is the uh, female behind. Is the female pregnant? No, nope, not yet. That was the other thing. I kind of had to sit there and wait for him to uh, to do the business too. They, it took him a while to get pregnant <laughs> for most of the animals. Uh, but very cool, domesticated dog. The um, excuse me, the German Shepherd from Leaf. Very very cool. Next up, let's do the European rabbit. Oh, and there are a bunch of little rabbits running around. Uh, what's up, Joachim? Good to see you. Good to see you too, Domez. Can't remember if I said hello to Domez or not, but whoa, look at that dude. Did you see it? Look at it go. Look at it go. Meow. <laughs> Let's pause it real quick. Uh, this is the European rabbit. This is from Leaf. Look at, look at, look at this little ball of dust. This is a dust ball. You see how quick it goes? It's, it's slowed down now, but before it was going like wicked quick. It was going so fast. All right, behind the, here's the adults. Here's one of them swimming. Oh, there's another one out of the water. But yeah, look at this little European rabbit. I would love to. I'm going to put this. This is like a good um, ambience animal, right? Like one you could just kind of put down a few rabbits in the middle of your zoo. It doesn't have to be an enclosure or anything. Yeah, so tiny. <laughs> Don't have to be an enclosure, but just like, oh, yeah, look, there's some rabbits over in the woods or something like that, right? But look at that. That's pretty awesome. I love these little small ambient type animals. Very cool. I want to see the, the baby rabbit go hyperspeed again. Look, there's another one over here. Rabbit's crazy. It is pretty crazy. You hear it? It's funny. Nice. All right. So next up, that was from Leaf again. Good job there. Um, next up, we're going to look at the Siberian Crane. I think it's from, Bong yeah, it's from Bongo Hardwood. Oh, we do have a check for this one as well. Very good. Uh, but yeah, we have the Siberian Crane. And look at these two. Looks so cool. 
Love the Vibrance. Almost look like the uh, same bird that we got for the uh, Coastal Wetlands pack a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more Vibrant. And then they got the... Where's the Bay Bay? Is this... I think it's the baby over here. Or the chick. Yeah, here's the Siberian Crane chick. Eh, crazy looking dinosaur. It's not so it goes from like this color to a really bright white with uh, like bright red bills and everything like that. So yeah, very cool there from uh, Bongo. Always look forward to seeing a Bongo bird. <laughs> Bongo's like the king of the cranes right now. Uh, next up, let's look at the red-footed tortoise. We'll look at the red-footed and the yellow-footed tortoise. We'll try and find both those at the same time. These are both from uh, Leaf, if I remember right. Yeah, yellow-footed and red-footed uh, tortoises from Leaf. So here's the red-footed one. Very cool. Looks like a lava magma. What's up, Basic and Eden? Good to see you. Good to see you both. So there's the red-footed, and then where is the yellow? Let's see if we can't find the yellow real quick while we're zooming about up here. Drone footage style. <laughs> they might be in the water. One second. Let's just do it this way. Oh, that's the yellow-footed rock wallaby. Oh, I didn't put it in. Like, I think I put in the yellow-footed rock wallaby and thought I put in the uh, other one. Let me get it real quick. It looks a lot like the red one, except it's yellow. Here we go. Oop, two males. That's okay. <laughs> All right, now they should quickly run these guys over. There they go. Oh, my escape button's not working. Yeah, we got a, We have a really expensive uh, a drone. You know, we have to use it every once in a while. Were they called phantom drones? <laughs> uh, there we go. Here's the uh, yellow-footed tortoise. Like I said, really similar to the uh, red, but again, really cool patterns, bright, vibrant colors. So yeah, you get some new uh, tortoises there. For uh, for your zoos. Oh god, don't don't freeze. Uh, cool. All right, next up, let's take a look at the do 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 do. There it is, the yellow-footed rock wallaby. So yeah, look at these guys. If I can get the camera to move right. There we go. Yeah, look at the. I love the uh, rings on their tails. They look really cool. So definitely, you know. I'm assuming they're from Australia, but let me just double check. But yeah, going to our Australian section, right? Yep, definitely, right? Um, yeah, another animal, another wallaby type for your uh, your Australia sections there. So those are awesome. <laughs> Next up, did I see who that was from? Um, let's see, just in case I did not. That is from uh, Leaf and Monsoon. Leaf in Monsoon. And don't forget all the um, links are going to be in chat from Seabris if you would like to download these or in the description down below. So be sure to check all these awesome mods out. Next up, let's look at the Rocky Mountain Elk. I think this is an update to a previous mod. But look at this. Ooh. Go perfect in a, like a Pine Mountain Sanctuary type build. Yeah, that's really cool looking. Who did this one? This is uh, from boop, 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 boop. someone. <laughs> Where is it in my notes? I can't find it in my notes. Am I going crazy? Oh, this is the one that is called the Wapiti in notes. It's from Leaf and Jen. Um, I don't know why I put just Wapiti, W-A-P-I-T-I. Uh, but this is the Wapiti is also the North American elk. So there's that. And then the female. And we have a female as well around here somewhere. There it is. And the female. A lot like the male, just minus the big horns, right? Do, do, do. So very cool. Uh, next up. Oh, I love this one. This is like might be my favorite mod. The shoe bill. I'm totally putting this in Sunset Ridge Zoo. I am totally putting the shoe bill from Narwhaler, Narwhaler, 
in Sunset Ridge Zoo. So these, this is one of the mods that wasn't submitted directly, but I went ahead and just, I'm showing it off anyways, because I think it looks really, really good. Um, we're doing that with a few mods and a few blueprints today, since we kind of had a short uh, list. But yeah, look at this, the shoe bill, which I've always been fascinated by. And look, they've got a baby shoe bill. I've always been uh, fascinated by these animals because they are just ridiculous looking. They are a ridiculous looking uh, bird. But yeah, no, again, I'm going to put these in um, Sunset Ridge Zoo, so I figured may as well download them now. So this is from Narwhaler, and they are a really, really good um, artist for mods. They're uh, they're all over the Nexus Workshop. But yeah, nice stuff there. Next up. There it is, the Cape Bushbuck. <laughs> the Cape Bush Buck, and this is from Seth. We haven't seen anything from Seth in a little while, so good to see a old face return there. Yeah, Seth has given us uh, this. The again, the Cape Bush Buck. They did a great job with the details. Yeah, didn't they? You get that just menacing-looking face with the huge bill and everything. Yeah, that's one of my favorites there. There you go. So there's the male. And uh, the female is around here somewhere. Not sure where we'll look through this way. Oh, there's the female. The female looks a lot less scraggly than the male, right? The male looks like it's seen some things. Antlers are beautiful. Yeah, the straight back kind of curvature. Yeah, this looks really nice. Yeah, I don't know. The, it's funny between the male and the female. Like the male just seems like he's seen some stuff. Got into a few back alleyway brawls. The female is just like, I'm cool. <laughs> so yeah, those are really cool. Those would be a really nice addition. Where are they from? Are they from like um, Asia? Oh no, they are Africa. Okay, so Eastern, Western, and Southern Africa. Very nice. Another addition to your uh, African areas. All right, let's look at the next animal here. Uh, the trumpeter swan. This is another one that uh, <laughs> sometimes when they're out of the water, they kind of float. But so you can tell that they're meant to be in water a lot more. But um, Trumpeter Swan, this is from uh, Narwhaler. Again, this is another one that I just kind of randomly downloaded because I think I'm going to use it in Sunset Ridge Zoo. Uh, but yeah, look at this. Really cool. Again, you kind of picture when it's in the water <laughs> that it would look a lot better. Um, but there you go, the Trumpeter Swan. Hey, Becca. Let's see if we can find the other uh, Trumpeter Swans, see if they're in the water or something. Excuse me. I think I have a baby of this one. Yeah, we do. Oh, there they are. There's some of the juvenile trumpeter swans hanging out in the water. They're a little bit not as, uh, you know, majestic or pretty looking as their parents. Kind of, they don't have the, what is it, molting, right? They have to do molting first to get their really pretty white feathers. There's the juveniles as well. Next animal it might be another bird yeah it is white stork and this is another one that is kind of randomly downloaded uh the white stork from ginger toast and thomas and they have a whole family back here look at this got yeah, probably the male uh yeah here's the male kind of protecting the family but yeah they have three little uh chicks three little juveniles look at this another one that i think would fit in really well to sunset ridge zoo love the way that this one looks here's the female I've heard that before, uh, Claire. It's very selfish of her. Tell her to throw throw the rest of y'all some some swan bucks there. Y'all y'all would like to see some swans too, wouldn't you? <laughs> and here's the uh, juveniles, little chicks there. They're they're really not not attractive, are they? <laughs> Compared to their parents, it's just it always amazes me like how they get to be like you know. From that to this, it's just like, whoa, we go through a huge transformation. Next animal. Again, that was the um, that was the white stork uh, from Ginger Toast and Thomas. Uh, but next up, we're gonna do the whooping, whoop, whoop, pink crane. <laughs> Again, same story as the last few, where I uh, just really liked how this one looked and thought it would fit in to a few different projects. Uh, but this is from Didums and Giorno Pizza. Look at this. 
and whooping crane i think i've um if i remember right these are in florida a lot when i was in florida i saw a lot of these or it might have been the white storks i can't remember it was one of the two let me see the zoopedia for this real quick uh so just say yeah so yep that's almost exactly where i was at in orlando area so yeah the whooping cranes i've seen these a lot I've actually seen one of these standing on top of an alligator, right? Alligators are in Florida. Uh, um, an alligator's head, or maybe not its head, but like its neck head area. Alligator did not seem to really care, uh, mind at all. Uh, but there is one of them and then the others are over here. Yeah, here's the rest of the family. We have the female and the chick, 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 chick. Nice looking whooping cream. It does look great, doesn't it? I think these kind of birds, these kind of cranes and everything add a lot to uh, to zoos, even if they're not in like a full on enclosure, just kind of like the natural wildlife hanging out in a zoo area. But very, very good from, uh, again, from Didums and Giorno Pizza. Next up, uh, last one. Oh, and this one just got uploaded today from Narwhaler, uh, the Wild Yak. And I think this might be one of my favorite mods I've ever seen. Uh, look at the hair and just, you know, I don't know what else the texture and everything look at just look at how awesome this looks that is fantastic don't think i've seen these in a zoo before um i'm sure they are in zoos if you've seen one in a zoo before let me know but um overall yeah i think this is a fantastic addition to uh, the animal collection the wild yak from narwhaler i mean that's that's like frontier level quality and then some right with like <laughs> that's just that's crazy looking how great that looks Swans here are so vicious. Um, they unalive all the other birds in their ponds and they're all invasive. Oh, are they? Yeah. That's kind of like our Canadian geese. They're not invasive species, but um, they're, they're buttheads. <laughs> That's the one that will make for, for your, oh, your uh, zoo project. Nice, Joaquin. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, I think these are, these are excuse me, a great addition. Uh, to the animal roster there. And now I can't remember, they might have an offspring. Let's see. Uh, oh, there, uh, she's pregnant. She is pregnant at the moment and won't give birth for another three years. I think she's been pregnant for like four years or something like that. Holy cow, that's a long time to be pregnant. <laughs> it's okay, Zebras. You're kind of doing a lot there. You're, you're holding down the fort, right? So, but hey, that does it for the uh, mods section. A lot of really fantastic mods today. Um, I'll, again, I'll try and every single week try and load up the game a little bit earlier or throughout the week to try and uh, get the juveniles uh, born before the stream gets going and everything. Uh, but yeah, no, really, really good job from everyone. And uh, yeah, don't forget if you'd like to submit your mods, go ahead and join up on the Discord. And uh, yeah, if we ever kind of come short with some mods, I'll do what I did today and just kind of peruse the Planet Zoo Nexus page because there's always a bunch of really cool stuff kind of getting uploaded today but yeah today was like the bird and crane day wasn't it so yeah awesome really good uh but hey speaking of birds let's keep going with um our blueprint section here because we have some more birds to show off in a different kind of manner these are non-modded birds uh, oh i forgot actually first uh first up is gonna be the uh, mini golf putter look at this from leaf leaf was like hey guess what guys i can build a i, can, I got this and yeah, of course, it's like perfectly in scale. So, boom. If you need a mini, <laughs> if you need a putter, you are set to go from uh, from Leaf there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, but next to that, we have, uh, like I was saying, speaking of birds, um, I'm pretty sure everyone's probably seen this at this point. It was on the, uh, I think it's still top of the workshop, or at least it should be. Uh, but this is Drox Winged World. I've been showing this off all week on my live streams and everything else. But look at this. These are not modded, non-modded uh, birds for your uh, zoos and everything. So they don't move or anything. They're basically like exhibit pieces. Um, but yeah, all built out of individual pieces and everything. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely ridiculous. So we'll just kind of go through uh, the majority of them here. But... Kind of see what we have here. We've got some vultures, Andean condors. I used, I just used these for uh, the Pine Mountain Sanctuary build. Have some toucans, cockatoos, Roadrunner. Uh, up here we have some blue jays, cardinals. Also used those two in uh, in Pine Mountain Sanctuary. Uh, Bali Mina, Paradise Tangier, Tangier, Tangier. Yes, Village Weaver. Just a whole flock <laughs> of uh, 
birds here that are really, really high quality. Love how these look. And then you also have this awesome um, art, <laughs> this art piece right over here to hang up as well. So yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to download Drox Winged World. Because uh, yeah, they have just made a ridiculous uh, piece here for you all to uh, use in your zoos and everything. Uh, so next up to kind of accompany that, I'm going to go a little bit out of order here, Seabrook's going to do the last one for Blueprints. Uh, but for Zoo, um, from Zoo Foundry, this is low budget, um, realistic aviaries, and these were all made by Concord Forge. Uh, and yeah, these, uh, I think these are really, really cool. Very simple. Um, I think you can change the color on them, or you can change the, um, excuse me, the material on them really easily if you want to get different wood on there and everything. But uh, you showed this before and the painting. I may have shown it. I was looking at past uh, showcases and I didn't see it, but I may have missed it. I know I've shown it off on my Pine Mountain Sanctuary um, stream from earlier in the week, but not on a community showcase. I think that's what it was. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. Aren't these great? Yeah, so you have a small, medium, and large one. And again, very realistic looking and uh, really easy to kind of... You know, switch out the material and uh, colors and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, it goes really, really well with uh, Drox Winged World uh, set there. And then to round us out is going to be Wyatt Andrews Workshop with his uh, Realistic Climbing Frames version 3 or uh, yeah, third set basically. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. So uh, yeah, Wyatt has always been just amazing when it comes to uh, primate climbing structures here. And not just for primates, for any kind of climbing animal. We have a whole bunch of separate ones here to uh, kind of put into your zoos and decorate up how you would like. But yeah, look at this. Everyone's always needing some more climbing structures and climbing frames, aren't they? So Wyatt has you all set up. That's really cool looking. And they're not like overly themed, right? There's like just a little bit of um, like dead trees or logs or anything in the middle of them, but it's not overly themed up. So you can really, it's really versatile. You can use it all over the place for a lot of different uh, zoos and projects and everything. So, but yeah, no, there you go. Quick, short and sweet for the blueprint section as well today. And um, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's pretty much what we have for those. Let's go ahead and we're going to back on out and take a look at our uh, one big zoo. It's a completed zoo. It's called Little Oak Wildlife Park, and this is from ZZ. Um, and yeah, can't wait to check this out. That's what our thumbnail is from today. Oh, but yeah, it's always fun to see someone join the uh, completed a zoo in Planet Zoo Club. Uh, Leaf just completed that. Whoa. Sorry about that. It's nice out today, so everyone's taking their motorcycles out in my town. <laughs> um, but yeah, Leaf just uh, entered that club as well with uh, Boggy Bottom. So if you all haven't caught, uh, watched the rest of uh, Leaf series Boggy Bottom, be sure to do that. Because that's, a, again, it's, it's a big accomplishment to uh, have a sizable project or sizable zoo finished and completed in Planet Zoo. It's not an easy thing to do. The stream in the week, yeah, I think that's where I showed it off, Claire. Because we were um, trying to find a bird to put into that uh, aviary for Pine Mountain Sanctuary. Nuke of your workshop items? Yeah, send them all over. Yep, send them on over. But don't forget, we'll uh, have another community showcase in two weeks, probably. We're doing bi-weekly now. Unless we have a big surplus of new items submitted. But we are kind of entering the slowest of slow periods as far as um, Planet Zoo and that kind of stuff goes. It's about to be summertime. Everyone's going to be outside. There's no new DLC for like another, what, like two months or something like that? month and a half a long time so yep not really surprised that we're having a bit of a slow down period speaking of summer we actually my, my wife and i we just started planning our theme park trips for the year we're uh we're planning on going to i think at least minimum two this year theme parks but max we'd like to get out to i think like four or five um, the ones that we're for sure going to go to are Cedar Point and Kings Island. 
in Ohio. Both of them aren't that far away. They're five or six hours away from where we live, so we can drive there after work on a Friday or leave early Saturday morning, get there by like 11 or noon. Still have the rest of the day and everything, but we want to do that. Then we want to visit some Pennsylvania parks. Maybe we go to Hershey Park or Kennywood or a whole bunch of different ones, but yeah, for sure we're gonna hit Kings Island and we're for sure gonna hit uh, Cedar Point. And we really wanna try uh, in there to hit the Columbus Zoo. Uh, Cause yeah, the Columbus Zoo isn't very far away from uh, either of those, Kings Island nor uh, Cedar Point. <laughs> Kennywood, yeah, Kennywood, really cool uh, local theme park, classic theme park. Pennsylvania is full of really cool classic uh, type American theme parks that you know a lot of them started as like little train depots that evolved into um, the theme parks that we know today kind of thing so yeah a lot of really cool classic theme park history out there um, but hey there we go little oak wildlife loaded up didn't take as long as I thought it was going to to be honest with you <laughs> uh, but cool let's go ahead and jump on into it oh thank you for not having any guests in the park that made it that's why it loaded up quickly uh, but cool let's uh, jump on in I love the vibe of this very rustic very rustic woodland type feel here. Oh, there's a lot of cool references to uh, pull from here. So very cool entranceway, got your strollers. Very uh, minimal, you know, like it's just really cool rustic kind of feel here. Let's unpause it, frames are okay. Will you vlog, vlog any of the visits? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, definitely, I'll bring y'all along. All of y'all along, there it is, I can Southern, uh, for some uh, some of those trips. But cool, let's go, uh, let's go right to left. Right to left. Oh, so the one um, special, quote unquote, special thing about this uh, file for mods and stuff like that is if you don't have, where is it? The path replacement mod to turn the water path into, dang it, this path here, then all of these paths inside the zoo will look like the original water path. So that's the, that's the only thing is uh, if you you have to have the path replacement mod, which I think is a really cool mod anyways, because no one really uses this water path anyways for what it's supposed to be. <laughs> so um, yeah, someone, uh, some of our awesome modders have replaced it with uh, this texture, this kind of concrete texture. Looks really, really cool, really useful. Um, so that is the one thing to note about this uh, zoo. Actually, before we get going, look at this. There's like a farm on the outside of it. Holy shnikes, I love this. Oh, a Houston Zoo? Yes, there's, um, it just got done with a big expansion. Uh, what, for the South America section in the Houston Zoo? So, yeah, enjoy that. Hi, Jen's uh, game player. Good to see you. Yeah, I do too, Claire. I, I like the uh, smaller rustic vibes. I'm with you. So, but no, this is cool. I like this um, outskirt here with the, again, with the farmland and everything. Oh, look, they even have a, uh, a wind, a wind veil. That's fun. That's so cool. All right, and then uh, let's go ahead and jump back into the zoo. Focus back up, <laughs> and we'll go. Uh, we'll go right to left. Hi, Gust uh, Gustavia. Good to see you. You're visiting Houston. Uh, it's unseasonably hot for May, like July already. We just had that this past week here in uh, Northern Illinois. It was 95 degrees like every single day this week. Uh, during the work week and like 95% humidity. We broke all the records like every single day for how hot it was. Now we're like dipping back down and it's gonna be regular springtime. Uh, but I think the majority of the planet, it was just like hot for like the, the whole week. I know India, it, like they were like broke records in India. They had to get a new color gradient for like the maps. They had to show like dark purple to almost black to show that it was uh, something like 122 degrees Fahrenheit in, uh, in India. So yeah, it was just like a crazy hot week for the planet. Anyways, <laughs> uh, this is cool. I haven't seen this before. Um, camels and rhinos hanging out together. That is a cool little habitat. Already love the vibe. I do too. This definitely feels like a uh, just walk around and enjoy the, like you said, the vibe of the zoo, right? Very realistic feel. Very realistic feel. Some of the habitats may be empty. Um, I do believe there are some modded animals. So um, I, my, I may, excuse me, uh, not have them installed. So if I don't have them installed, they just won't show up. That's the, the biggest thing. I love these big um, forested, like grassy areas here too. And the openness uh, doesn't have to have a fence everywhere. You know what I mean? So that's really cool. 
This definitely has a just a, a real zoo feel to it. All the uh, concreted in little watering holes and everything. And again, I'm going to skip a lot of details probably. I'm um, going to try and hit as much as we can. But uh, yeah, this is almost like a Spark Notes version, right? This is just to entice you to download this awesome project and take a look at all of the fun details in the full list here. Yeah, the backstage is really cool, right? It's cool. Look at this. Uh, this little playground. I always forget to add in little playground sets like this. I think this is a just Goron playground bit, but uh, but nonetheless, it's uh, something to always try to remember to do. This is cool back here. Look at this. It's for like a primate. Oh no, it's for the Binturong. Look at the Binturong getting a big ol' habitat. That's right. Oh, I love all the little rocks in the valley right here. Nolan Gaming. Is that you, ZZ? Ha! Speaking of, I think these are supposed to be like white storks or white build uh, storks or whatever. Oh, I love the theming as we come through here. Oh, can you? The performance updated so you can uh, kind of get back into it. Very cool, Becca. There are. There's a ton of little details. I like this. Look at this. Uh, the hill coming up. So it's not such a... I don't know what you want to say. Like sharp uh, terrain chain jump. They have just a little gradual bit right here. Love the little aviary going through here as well. This is really good. The rock work, especially see the rock work in the back. Yeah, definitely uh, be sure y'all download this. There's there's details everywhere. Ooh, teeny tiny little path. Love when people use teeny tiny little paths. <laughs> Yeah, definitely download this. There's a ton to uh, check out here. And don't forget, we have that new uh, camera mode. So you can go here, go to explore mode, then drop down. And then we can kind of walk, you can walk around in the um, guest view real easy, right? So you definitely feel like a guest as you walk through here. Well, uh, behind the scenes viewing area. But I, just, I we just do the drone fly through here. Oh, that's a cool shot with the power lines in the background. A lot of cool uh, vistas and everything around here. Go over the bridge. Dirty water. <laughs> More aviaries. I love that they didn't skimp on the aviaries. Excuse me. And they might not all just be aviaries, right? There might just be some small animals in there as well. But that's the thing. You always see those at zoos. It's not just, you know, big zoo animals right not just always lions and tigers and bears oh my <laughs> you gotta have those small animals to kind of fill in the gaps as well so i think that's a i think they definitely accomplished that really well oh, i love these tiny little buildings definitely feels like we're in like a different part of the zoo now like an older part of the zoo in comparison to the other parts that's really cool switches over to uh like mulch path oh this whole area see all the little um aviaries and little exhibits all over the place there's not one quote unquote like habitat over here you know what I mean it's all just tiny little exhibits I love that and then we come over here there's more playgrounds now we finally have another habitat right there this looks so good oh it's feeding time Eden time. Yeah, the more it, it does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? The farther back you go, it's like almost the original zoo, quote unquote. And it like it kind of has that feel throughout the zoo, but it just kind of shifts here and there between old and new. So same, yeah, like again, same rustic type view or feel, excuse me, but uh, just older and newer. Here we go. Was this the the Texas Longhorn? Oh my gosh, we have a, a restaurant here called Longhorn Steakhouse based off Texas Longhorn, so Steakhouse. <laughs> hey, hey, Max, welcome on back to being a builder, my friend. Appreciate that as always. Hope everything's going well for you. All right, what do we have over here to the right? Love, the, look at the rock work here. Can you imagine just the patience to do all that? My goodness. What do we have here? Hi, buddy. Is that a cougar? It's a cougar. 
<laughs> yeah, you knew it had to be something like that, right? Because you see the fencing, how it changes there. Yay, there we go, Seabirth. Thank you. The hearts and claps for Max being a builder. And there we go, back to the beginning of the zoo. Let's do a full on zoom out here, make sure we didn't miss a whole lot. Oh, yeah, did you notice that too? Nice little city in the background, so you get these really cool views as you're looking out over it. Makes you feel like you're just not out in the middle of nowhere, right? A little bit of a city view, city feel. But very, very cool. That is, that's a great accomplishment there. And look, they didn't even like, not they didn't even, but uh, just shows you don't need to fill out the whole map to have a really condensed in zoo. I just, I still see it talked about on like Reddit and different people's Twitter posts that they're like, oh, we need a bigger map size. And it's like, you really, we really don't need a bigger map. Um, you can just see when you actually build uh, condensed down and um, good habitat sizes and everything, you can pack in a bunch, I'd say hundreds and hundreds of animals uh, in this in this uh, zoo here. So a whole bunch of awesome stuff there. Again, I think my favorite bits are maybe the, uh, probably the farm outside here. I think that's really cool. Let's get a better look at the uh, back, main backstage area here. Love some good backstage. I think this might be another favorite section of mine. What's your favorite? Someone have a favorite um, enclosure or a favorite section of the zoo? Uh, for enclosure, I think the cougar habitat was my favorite. The cougar or the binturong was done really, really well. I'm gonna go back over to the cougar habitat there. Hi, Rona, good to see you. For those of you just joining in, we are um, coming to the near end of the uh, community showcase this week. A little bit of a shorter showcase. Not a big deal though. Definitely high up on quality. So oh, I love this. This looks really good. I don't know what it is about it, but it just it looks really good. <laughs> uh, hey, Padlock. This is um, from ZZ, and this is Little Oak Wildlife Park. Description uh, down below has the link to it, so be sure to download it. Favorite. Don't forget to favorite it and like it as well, everyone. Helps out the creator get this um, kind of put in front of more people's eyes. You like the Bentrong? I think the Bentrong was really done uh, well. They had a lot of climbing structures and everything. If y'all missed it, here's the Binturong exhibit. Look at this. They have all the climbing area. It's feeding time for the Binturong too. It's Binturong feeding time as well. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely check out all the blueprints in here. So yeah, there you go. So again, yeah, Little Oak Wildlife uh, park from ZZ. This was a long time coming. Um, and again, congrats to ZZ for entering the completed a zoo and planet zoo uh, challenge. <laughs> Is anyone else part of that uh, part of that challenge or part of that crew? I am technically. I completed uh, Thornton Hills Zoo, so I'm technically part of that challenge. Let's see anyone else in chat that I can see right away that might be part of that crew. But yeah, there you go. So hey, don't forget, if you'd like to submit anything for our community showcases, we do them once every uh, two weeks. Once every two weeks, then go ahead and join the Discord. Link in the description down below. And there's a community showcase tab. Go ahead and share your zoos. They don't have to be finished. If you'd like to share a work in progress and get some feedback, whether it's from me or chat, or you don't have to have feedback, you can just show it off as well. Also submit your blueprints, whether it be a uh, an enclosure, a restaurant, you know, a foliage set that you're proud of, anything like that. If you're a modder, we also like to look at mods as well, whether it's animal mods, prop mods, all that kind of fun stuff. So, yeah, definitely uh, join the show or the showcase. Yeah, join the showcase too. Uh, join the Discord. Submit your things there. We also have a fun share your work section in the Discord that people like to uh, share their current work in progress, get a little feedback. I'm hanging out over there. Always love to see people's builds, give a little feedback if they're uh, requesting it. You finished a tiny one for the Frontier Competition. What the, what's the Frontier Competition right now? Make the farm field. Let's take a look at that. That's a good question. You're thinking of submitting my uh, Asian section once it's done, but maybe not, but maybe you should. <laughs> but maybe you should, but no, yeah, no pressure at all. Uh, this was made, looks like the new um, grapes. Yep, the common grapevine that we just got from, uh, I don't know if that was free, uh, but I think it was from the Europe pack, wasn't it? 
I can tell you right now that once you get over here, your frames drop about 10 FPS. <laughs> but it looks really good. Look at this. You didn't even see this detail. They actually have little grapes down in here. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at it at nighttime. I just saw the lanterns there. I just noticed the lanterns, so I bet there's some nighttime. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking. Do, 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 do. Every time I go to submit, I want to work on just one more. Right, you just you submit it and you're like, hmm. I might be able to fix that up a little bit more. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> uh, oh, the Pride Zoo. Nice, Becca. Nice. So, yep, great finds for Europe pack. Nice. So, all right, y'all. But hey, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Again, I know it was a little bit shorter uh, of a build this week, or build, uh, showcase this week, but it was definitely a, hey, a high quality one. So, be sure, don't forget, check out the description down below to catch up with all of the um, links to all of our mods that we showed off today, all the blueprints, the uh, the big zoo here and everything, Oak uh, Little Oak Wildlife Park. And yeah, like I said, be sure to join the Discord there and uh, show off your uh, community showcase things for the uh, next showcase, which will be in two weeks. That's going to be on the doo -doo -doo 29th. May 29th is the next time. Uh, don't forget also, I should be live, should, should, should be live uh, tomorrow as we're going to be building in Sunset Ridge Zoo um, after I get off of work. Usually I get off work uh, around 12 to 1 o'clock my time. That's Central Standard Time. So that's like 1 to 2 uh, p.m. Eastern. Um, I've usually been getting off work around that time. Then we'll stream for a few hours and build in Sunset Ridge Zoo and try and finish up the Coastal Wetlands House once and for all and move out of that and have some good times not building interiors anymore. <laughs> I am done building interiors for a, for a heck of a long time. So, um, hey, awesome. Thanks so much everyone uh, for hanging out. Always appreciate y'all. And yeah, we will see you hopefully tomorrow. Have a good one.